I've got to warn you about gutter cleaning and a big mistake that we made, I made that cost, well, luckily we we're able to fix it. And you got to do this, trust me. And raise, you'll make more money too and make your customers happier. What's up? I'm Keith Kelf as I start up. I talk about how to start a landscaping business. It's Saturday. I'm just chilling with my little doggy uh, for a few minutes, getting some work done by my fish tank. And so listen. We've been doing gutter cleaning for years, and I worked for companies that did landscaping, fall cleanup, gutter cleaning for years. So we would just hop on a ladder, run around a roof, a walkable roof, and just blow the gutters out all over the place, and then do a fall cleanup and clean it all up. One guy in the roof, one guy on the ground, a guy running around blowing down the upspouts and downspouts. Easy peasy. Well, this one customer, we had cleaned her gutters five years in a row. The sixth year, we just showed up like always, but there was something different this time. It caught me off guard. Oh, the lady had just had all of her gutters in uh, like the eavesdrops and the soffits and shutters and, and like the flashing all around, all freshly painted, beautiful white. And the painter guy just painted and left the gutters packed like and so in proper sequential order you would want to get all the gutters and downspots cleaned out thoroughly before you paint them well this didn't happen we showed up and i just went into work mode because we do it the same way every year and even though it was visually i was like this house looks super clean something's different Woo! i wasn't everything was beautiful arctic white it was just painted but i was in work mode, I just didn't pay attention. I jumped up like we always do. Backpack blower, guy in the roof, guy in the ground. I'm on the roof. I run around, blow out all the gutters and downspouts. But here's the second thing that was different this time. It had rained the night before, and everything was wet. And there was muck and gunk and leaves and sticks. You ever do something stupid and for some stupid reason you just keep doing it? Like the second you realize something's wrong, you should just stop immediately. Well, I ran around this whole roof and blew crap everywhere. All over the garden beds. All over the... It blew up in the air. Monkey, gunky, nasty water blew all over the house. The soffits. No, it, wasn't, it was just in a few places. So... The lady comes out and she goes, oh my gosh, you just, there's nasty water and crap running down the side in a couple spots all over my brand new freshly painted, why would you do this? And I was like, we'll fix it right away. Don't worry, we'll fix it. So now we spend the next hour washing everything down with a hose, climbing up on my ladder with microfiber towels, cleaning everything down, washing it, cleaning it again. We offer window cleaning too, so we clean the windows. Um, we were just there. No, I think we had the window cleaning gear on us. So we ended up offering a free window cleaning and cleaning the screens and everything because these little specks blew up in the air and blew back. Like, what the hell was I thinking? So we got it all super clean, and then uh, it was good, but it took over an extra hour for sure. And the whole time I was in anxiety. I'm like, what the heck was that? So here's the thing. <sighs> charge your customers more than you normally charge for gutter cleaning. And do it with rubber gloves, scoopers, buckets. And just take, a f take five gallon Home Depot or Lowe's buckets connect them to ropes or strings with carabiners and just lower them down to a guy in the ground and just go around and do it by hand and charge more and only do safe walkable roofs or if you're a professional gutter cleaner you can figure out a different way and then if you're already doing a fall cleanup and all the gutters are totally dry you could probably just blow it out all over the place right but especially don't be blowing stuff out where there's people's patio furniture barbecue girls with barbecue girl don't even chance it just stop and clean it out by hand because you're literally i'm married and my wife is a clean freak okay we have a nice patio furniture with patio furniture covers if some 
goofball runs around on our roof and blew crap all over our garden beds and all down the side of our house and all over our driveway and all over our patio furniture and all over the barbecue. You're probably listening to this right now like, well, I've done that. Unless it's like totally dry where you could just blow it and clean it up with the fall cleanup. If it's wet, that's bad business. And I can say I have done that. Not to not like intentionally to the extreme, but I have accidentally <laughs> we did this real estate client, it was like twenty five gutter cleanings, and I charged a certain amount per house. I gave actually the guy a deal, right? I, this was a long time ago. I was like, I'll do it for a hundred bucks a house. It's twenty five. It's twenty five hundred bucks. We'll bang all this out in two days, right? And we did. So I get on one house in the back of the house. Now it was raining, and we're cleaning them in the rain. What was I thinking? And uh, I blew stuff all over a patio, and it got on a lady's a patio furniture. Then I had to go down and blow it all and rinse it all off. And the whole time in my head, I'm like, what am I doing? Why would I do this? This is the stupidest thing ever. I can't believe I'm doing this. I felt horrific. And so we blew it all and cleaned it all off. And even while I was doing it, I was like, I'm embarrassed. What if this lady's home and she looks out the window and sees that I'm literally cleaning all the crap off the patio furniture that I just blew on there? What kind of hack would do this? We do very good work. I'm like making myself sound bad right now. This is a very long time ago. And I felt hurry, I felt in a rush, I felt in anxiety, I had undercharged, I didn't think it was going to rain. This is all the stuff you get into in the learning curve when you offer gutter cleaning. Because you might be thinking, well, I would never do that. Oh my God, I can't believe this guy. People make mistakes, right? The The thing is, do you never do that? Do you fix the mistake or never and never do that stupid thing again? That's the real thing, right? <laughs> but so the next thing I wanted to say is, I'm on a roof. And I understand you're only supposed to step on the trusses. They're like what, every 16 inches. Be careful when you walk around on roofs. I step on a soft spot and my foot goes through the roof all the way down to almost my knee. I pull my foot out of the customer's roof. I go, what was that? I take another step. My foot goes in the roof again. So I stop, I kneel down, and I pull up the shingles. There's rotted wood all underneath the shingles, like completely soaking wet and rotted. And I'm looking down inside the customer's attic into the customer's house. <sighs> I run. We got an extra tarp, I think, on the truck. I had a new tarp. I tarped off the roof, and I got bricks from around the property, and I tarped off the whole roof, that whole area, immediately, and took pictures, and I called the customer and told the customer what happened. I was nervous. I said, bro, customer, literally all the plywood is completely rotted in this, in this whole area. This roof needs to be repaired, bro. I, all I did was step, and my foot went right through. And I'm like, you need to send someone out here, bro. Like I did, I wasn't like, I, I, I said it in a professional way. And I, even though I was nervous and he sent a roof, roofing expert out, the customer did immediately and found out that that whole back 25% of the entire roof, when they got the shingles off, it was all rotted and needed to be replaced. And, um, I mean, I'm talking like. It was completely rotted, and, and I'm going on and on and on. But and the cus and my my customer was like, "Well, I knew I was going to need a roof sometime on one of these real estate houses," and uh, yeah, he's like, "Bro, I saw it. that thing was completely rotted." I was like, "Okay, this wasn't my fault." But these are some of the things you can get into. Now, what if my customer wasn't so cool, and your customer is now blaming you and expecting you to repair their whole roof on your insurance? Uh, the things you do when you need money. So, make sure you're licensed and insured, payroll taxes, workers' comp. I could talk about this for an hour, but I'm not going to. Have a great day.